Hi, I'm Rochelle, herbalist, holistic health practitioner, and your host of Plant Based. And today we are going to make herby roasted vegetables. This recipe includes your pick of vegetables. Eating the rainbow is the goal, um, kind of always, uh, but especially with plant-based foods. And when we do that, we get a real variety of phytonutrients, phytochemicals, vitamins, minerals, things for our immune system. So let's get started. We have our carrots. The goal with the chopping is we wanna make things generally the same size. So we have beets. Beets are a fantastic vegetable, um, especially for energy and oxygenation in the body. So there's been some pretty good study on consuming beet juice or beet powder uh, prior to exercise and uh, how performance enhancing that is. We're gonna do our broccoli next. And if you have a really big piece of broccoli uh, and you wanna use the whole thing, you know, it's, it's good to peel the stem that gets really fibrous and kind of too chewy to handle. But you can just peel it and then chop up the stem as well. Aiming for the same size, again, as everything else that's on our tray, give or take. It's actually a really high protein veggie. We have bell pepper, love this guy. It becomes so sweet when you roast it. Brussels, yes, more cruciferous. So the cruciferous veggies are the ones that kind of have leaves that fold and wrap around themselves. So you can see this is similar to cabbage, again, collard greens, broccoli cauliflower, high in something called sulforaphane which is really potent um, kind of plant, plant medicine. Everything that we're making today is high in antioxidants, vitamins like A and C. And now we're gonna do a yam or a sweet potato. And with these, if you're finding that they take longer to roast than the rest of your veggies, you can always steam them a little bit ahead of time or start them roasting earlier. The other thing you want to do is just chop them into especially small pieces and that will help them roast more quickly. Last but not least, we're gonna do a red onion. I have been loving these lately. Um, similar to the bell pepper, it's going to be really nice and sweet. These are one of my favorite immunity foods. I mean, I think we got every color. Blue veggies are a little bit hard to find. This is like, this is like herbalism for lunch. Um, so this one, we are doing totally oil-free. It's on parchment paper. We're just popping it into the oven as is. You don't have to flip anything necessarily, but you'll wanna keep an eye on things and make sure that they're kind of cooking evenly and pull anything off if it's done, done before everything else. So for baking sheet number two, uh, this is where the magic happens. So we're gonna do a little bit of olive oil on our sheets. And I always like to do some salt as well. Just get it ready. What we're going to add to this sheet are Kalamata olives, um, some really beautiful cherry tomatoes, and lemon. A lot of times when we want salt, we think of nuts or chips, but olives are a great source of healthy fat and salt. Tomatoes contain lycopene, and lycopene is actually more accessible to us, more easily absorbed when the tomatoes are cooked, even just a little bit. Lemons, 
Yes. And we are going to eat the whole thing. I'm gonna chop it up very thin so that we can eat the peel as well. And the volatile oil contains a terpene called limonene. So limonene is known as a mood booster. Um, it's also known to help uh, restore stress-induced immunosuppression. So if stress is messing up your immunity, this can help, limonene can help. The other thing that's fantastic about eating the whole fruit, the high vitamin C content in the citrus makes the iron in the greens more absorbable. So you are getting plant-based sources of iron and you're absorbing more of it because you're getting vitamin C in the citrus. And then just pop out the seeds because we like the peel, but not so much the seeds. We have this awesome spread. And we're gonna roast it separately because it doesn't take as long. So we do it for about the last 20 minutes. All right, I am so excited about this. Look at how gorgeous this is. So we have combined all of the veggies. So roasted the uh, tomatoes and the lemon and the olives uh, for the last 20 minutes, combine it all, and you have a rainbow. You literally have a rainbow here. The last step is we want to take all of our beautiful roasted veggie ness and put it into a big mixing bowl or a salad bowl. Now, to make this herby and to make it even more nutritious, more medicinal, more uh, delicious, we are going to put a bunch of fresh green herbs into our mix. We have cilantro, parsley, basil, and mint. I mean, all of this is just like a, it's like a, this is, I mean, this is aromatherapy. Hey, we're adding aromatherapy to your lunch. All right, and our last step is to add a little bit more lemon because this is going to, again, increase the availability of that iron. This is more vitamin C. It also tastes delicious. And again, we're keeping this recipe really light. So we're not adding oil, you totally can, but you don't have to. Oh my gosh, it's too pretty. This is just like, this is heaven in a bowl. Last but not least, and you can do this for the whole bowl or you can do this just per serving, but we are going to drizzle some tahini over this just adds one more layer of loveliness. Now it's my favorite moment. Cheers. Mm. Have I said that vegetables are candy before? This is too good. Try it, experiment, use all the veggies you can, use a couple, it's just fantastic. That's, that's it, that's all I can say. <laughs> For more episodes of Plant Based, subscribe to Well and Good's YouTube channel.